Hi, welcome to the short video on WingX Pro 7's new passive radar altimeter. It's a great new feature if you're flying in mountainous terrain, uh, over hills even, and on instrument approaches. You want to see what the terrain is doing directly below you. What I've done is set up a flight simulation from uh, Lake Tahoe Airport down into San Jose International. We are track up, so even though we are flying a heading of 210, we're flying straight up the screen. Notice how the identifiers are rotated correctly so we can still read it and we even forget that we're actually looking at a rotated sectional. So that's that's very nice. Top left hand corner tells us how high the terrain is, 7,700. You'll notice that it just turned orange which means that we're below a thousand AGL and when it turns red that actually means that we are below 500 AGL and you'll notice that that corresponds with what we're seeing on the uh, moving map. If we tap on the passive radar altimeter and say show approximate AGL, instead of it saying terrain, it'll say approximate AGL, and that is telling you the distance between the aircraft and the terrain. One warning that uh, needs to be mentioned is that this in assumes that the uh, GPS altitude that you're showing up in the top right, on top of the screen over there, is accurate. So the responsibility is yours to ensure that this altitude matches what you're seeing on your altimeter. But assuming that they are correct and, and they match up and everything's good there, this approximate AGL is actually very, very nice, very accurate, and uh, highly recommended to use when you're flying over mountains. And like I said, instrument approaches are great too, just to ensure you're not uh, getting too close to the terrain or when you're getting vectored around on an instrument approach how do you know that ATC is not vectoring you into a, a, a hill or a mountain that it has happened fortunately it doesn't happen <laughs> very often but just for uh, peace of mind we strongly recommend using the passive radar altimeter and continually looking at it while you're on the approach you'll notice that we put all the important information up at the top we don't spread it around the screen you have, just like you'd be looking at it in an aircraft, you have your heading in the, in the middle, your airspeed on the left, your altimeter on the right, and all your numbers there. You'll notice that your heading and your desired track to San Jose are directly below one another. So we make things very simple to read, and the passive radar altimeter is right there up in the top left-hand corner.